the difference between probiotics and prebiotics? Is there one that's better than the other? And why do people keep telling us to take them? By the end of this video, you'll know the differences between prebiotics and probiotics and how they impact our gut and overall health. Turns out they're quite important and quite good for our bodies. Hey everybody, it's Carrie, your tushy enthusiast and better booty advocate. Today's video is all about probiotics and prebiotics and it gets pretty interesting. But before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos on gut, butt, and poop health. And also hit that bell so you're notified every single time we post new videos. You don't wanna miss any of the poop scoop. So what are probiotics? So probiotics are live organisms and specifically strains of good bacteria and yeast that help keep our body healthy and functioning well. So probiotics actually directly add to the population of healthy microbes in our gut and our body. And this is also known as our microbiome. And for those of you who don't know, microbes are these little teeny tiny little organisms that can be found everywhere, all around us and inside us also, but they're just too small to be seen by the naked eye. And examples of this are bacteria and yeast. So the human body is home to millions of these microbes. However, for a microbe to be considered a probiotic, it must have the following four characteristics. Number one, it must be isolated from the human. Number two, it must survive in your intestine after ingestion. Number three, it has a proven benefit to you. And then number four, it can be safely consumed. So how do you get probiotics, you ask? Well, either from food or probiotic supplements. And we'll definitely touch on this a little bit later. But first, let's actually move on to prebiotics. So what are prebiotics? Prebiotics are specialized plant fibers that act like fertilizers and stimulate the growth of your healthy bacteria in your gut. Or to put it another way, prebiotics are a type of dietary fiber that feed the friendly bacteria in our gut. You can find prebiotics in many fruits and vegetables, especially those that contain complex carbohydrates such as fiber or resistant starch. So these carbs are not digestible by your body and so instead it actually passes through the digestive system to become food for these little bacteria and other microbes. So how do they work together? Well, prebiotics and probiotics are both very important for our health because in order for us to be our healthiest, we do need a balance of the two. Why? Prebiotics are the food for our probiotics, which has numerous health benefits. Probiotics have been shown to restore and improve digestive health, reduce digestive disorder symptoms, give you better poops, improve your mental health, improve overall GI health, and even your vaginal health. Probiotics can also improve your heart health, support your immune system, and even reduce severe allergies. And as you see now, we do need both in order to have a healthy and balanced gut. If you want to learn more about the benefits of probiotics or prebiotics, check out some of our other videos linked in the description. You don't actually need to take probiotic supplements in order to have good bacteria in your gut. We'll definitely get to the supplements a little bit later. So probiotics are a natural part of our bodies when we eat a well-balanced diet rich in fiber. What's awesome is that our diet alone can keep the good bacteria at healthy levels. So there are a number of probiotic and prebiotic foods that many of us eat already without even knowing it. So a few probiotic foods include yogurt, sauerkraut, miso soup, soft cheeses, kefir, sourdough bread, kimchi, sour pickles, and kombucha. And if you're at the store, the best way to know if something has probiotics in it is by looking at the food label for live and active cultures. Prebiotic foods include Jerusalem artichoke, garlic, onion, leeks, asparagus, banana, barley, oats, flaxseed, and apples. In the comments below, tell us what some of your favorite prebiotic and probiotic foods that you already have in your diet. In addition to getting pro and prebiotics in your diet, you can take supplements. So the first thing you need to know about prebiotics and probiotic supplements is that there are so many kinds. For instance, one type of bacteria commonly used is lactobacillus, but there are over 120 species of lactobacillus and at least a dozen of them are used in probiotics. So probiotic and prebiotic supplements also come in many different forms, including foods, drinks, capsule or pills, powders, or liquids. So before going out and buying a bunch of different supplements, we definitely recommend checking with your doctor. 
When people take both a prebiotic and a probiotic supplement, this is actually called symbiotic. So symbiotic describes supplements or foods that actually contain both prebiotic and probiotics. So the goal of taking symbiotics is to really increase the number of probiotic bacteria in your digestive gut, but also providing a source of energy for them. Makes sense. But I wanna be clear, prebiotics and probiotics do not need to be taken together in order to get health benefits. They just both need to be a regular part of your diet. I hope you've enjoyed learning about prebiotics and probiotics and how they work together to improve our digestive and overall health. Something else that has also improved my health is washing with a tushy bidet after I poop. So the tushy bidet attaches easily between your toilet seat and your toilet bowl and it washes your bum with the fresh stream of water after pooping without any dry or scratchy toilet paper. So if you're watching this video, you obviously care about your gut health and the bidet is simply creating the healthiest and most hygienic experience for your gut at the end of your your digestive journey. So if you are curious and you want to learn more about the Tushy Bidet or check out some of our other Tushy bathroom products, head over to hellotushy.com forward slash vlog, or you can just check out some of the other videos on our channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it at all and learned something new, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel and also hit that bell so you're notified when we post new videos. And also we would love to invite you to join us in our community hosted on Facebook groups. It's called the Tushy Movement. Got feelings, but day life and butt stuff. You can actually join via the link in the description below, but we are a collective of pooping humans from all around the world chatting and learning more about gut health, but day life, butt stuff, sustainability, and of course, all things tushy. Well, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you booties next time. Happy pooping.